There's quite a history of masterpieces being discovered and rediscovered. The idea of authenticity, which really attracts us, which is why it's very exciting to find this Leonardo. I mean, the most important or perhaps the most famous Leonardo to be rediscovered was in the early 19th century when the lady with the ermine was re-established to be a genuine Leonardo. That was the last great excitement. But I would say this really very delicate little drawing done in inks and chalks with a profile of a woman with her hair elaborately braided. It was previously believed to be a German work from the early 19th century. You can see why it's got the precision that we associate with the Northern European traditions of painting. But it has a softness. You see the, I suppose in Leonardo's called it's called the sfumato, that sort of blending of shadows. You see that on her cheeks. I mean, this isn't a sudden discovery. It's not a work turned up in the attic. It's been under study for some time. There were lots of telltale marks that made people wonder about it. Not least it was painted by left-handed artists, as Leonardo very famously was. And now it seems, thanks to this 500-year-old fingerprint, analysed by a forensic art expert under infrared lamps, and then scrutinised and dated with radiocarbon dating, seems finally to be confirmed that it is by comparison with the tip of an index fingerprint, which is also on Leonardo's St. Jerome, that very famous memento mori in the Vatican.